Hi guys, myself Subham Sharma and in today's video, we will be discussing about V level blockchain development test. Okay. So, as you may see on the screen, so basically there would be five rounds. You need to score 100 marks from the combination of the marks of round one and two. And so as to qualify the V level test of blockchain, you need to score at least 700 plus marks. So round one and two, they would be conducted from 10 a.m. till 12.45 p.m. Round one would be back to basics and round two would be access your algo round. Then the round three and four, round they would be conducted from 2.45 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. Round three would be optimize your feature. Round four would be debugging. Then comes the round five. It would be conducted after 6 p.m. onward. It would be basically a phase interview round. Okay. The results would be declared within five days of the time after which the company placements continue. So the basic eligibility requirement for the blockchain development test is you should be either a fresher or working professional. You should be actively looking for a job and you should be at least 18 years of age. Then how to apply for the test? Just log into the reliable.com, book your slot. You may even take a mock test. Now, deep dive into the detail of each and every round. So first round, that is the back to basics round. Its duration would be 60 minutes and the marks allowed to it are under marks. This round will consist of 20 questions wherein the candidate is tested on the basics of blockchain and its architecture. The candidate can expect the question around the core concept of data structure, smart contract, Merkle, hash tree, smart contracts, solidity, solar, private key, public key, distributed ledger, Rust, Java, Python, C. And there would be again a 50% negative marking. Then comes the access your algo round. Its duration would be 90 minutes and the marks allotted to it are 150 marks. In this round, the candidate is expected to answer three coding questions that test the problem solving skills and algorithmic thinking. Okay. The candidate are required to code in the provided IDE and solve the coding challenge within 90 minutes. Then comes the round three that is optimize your feature. Its duration would be 90 minutes and the maximum marks allotted to it are 300 marks. In this assessment, the candidate is required to code and develop a feature. The candidate will be provided with a problem statement and user stories. Within 90 minutes, the candidate is expected to build a solution and also provide a screen recording explaining the code and functionality of the feature he or she has built. Round 4 that is debugging round. Its duration would be 90 minutes and the marks allotted to it are 300 marks. In this round, the candidate is asked to fix and complete the code by either explaining the code of the feature or adding new functionality. The candidate is given 90 minutes to complete this challenge. Within 90 minutes, the candidate is expected to submit a solution and provide a screen recording explaining what they have done. Then comes the round 5 that is phase the interview round. Its duration is 60 minutes and the marks allotted to it are 150 marks. In this 60 minute interview, a senior blockchain developer will test the candidate ability to check the reason behind the decision making and how they went about solving that problem. The candidate will be interviewed on the clarity in thinking and approach during pressure situations, ability to work with large products or larger problems in mind. The candidate might also be interviewed on the projects they have mentioned on the resume and ask to solve problem live through screen sharing. Then this is how your result would be looking out. This is the syllabus part. If you want, you may take the screenshot here itself from the computer science fundamentals. They would be asking basics of programming, Python, Node.js, Java, basic data structures, advanced data structures, OOPS concept, computer networking, DBMS, operating system. From the blockchain development part, they would be asking about blockchain technology and leveraging blockchain programming, Hyperledger, Ethereum, Solidity, Solan, Crypto Network, Hashnet. This is all about the D-level blockchain development test. If you like the video, then make sure to give the thumbs up. And for more such videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I would meet you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.